Hello, this is Malcolm Ballard. I'd like to speak to you on the subject of the YouTube video discussing uh, Supernova 1987. In that video, the writer and the author speaks about a supernova which gives bursts of energy every now and again, and eight months later, a ring of gas around it lights up also. From that, using the speed of light today, he deduces what the distances from the ring to the supernova is, and works out that it um, is a certain uh, distance, and from that distance, and knowing the angle that the ring gives him, he works out the f how far away that supernova is, and gets the figure of 168,000 light years. Later in his analysis, he says, let's assume that the speed of light was 784 times faster than it is today. Now that means that the ring is 784 times larger because of the speed of light being so much faster. Therefore, if it's eight months later, the ring must light up and it must be a very great distance away. From that bigger diameter that he's got with the same angle uh, that we see from the Earth, he therefore concludes that the ring, as it is much bigger in diameter, must therefore be not 168,000 light years away, but 123 million light years away. And from that he concludes that the universe would therefore be 4 million years old. Now, from uh, the statement he then claims is that if the speed of light was faster, it makes the universe older. This is absolute nonsense, because there he has made a complete and enormous blunder in the whole of his uh, logic in trying to analyse this situation. Let me explain by making it a little bit more simple. Let's assume that the supernova explodes and the ring lights up one month later and the speed of light is 10 times faster than it is today. So the supernova explodes and starts the light from the supernova starts towards the Earth. One month later, the ring lights up and the light from the ring then also starts towards the Earth, one month behind the light from the supernova. And so it travels towards the Earth. But what is forgotten is that if the speed of light was faster in the past, as the light travels towards the Earth, it would slow down. And if, let's assume that the speed of light was 10 times faster in the past, by the time the light from the Earth, from the supernova, has reached the Earth, the light from the ring is not just one month behind, but 10 months behind. And so, what he sees as a 10-month delay between the supernova and the ring lighting up is nothing like that at all. Because if you take into account, and he admits that the speed of light could be faster, it makes only that the uh, ring is that very much shorter and smaller in diameter. And from that, we can deduce that the time taken for it to light up if the speed of light was 784 times larger in his rough uh, guidelines, but instead of it taking eight months, with a higher speed of light of 784 times larger, it wouldn't take eight months for the ring to light up, but simply 7.4 hours. And therefore the ring is not necessarily further away or bigger in diameter because he's forgotten that in the speed of light being uh, faster in the past, as that light reaches us from those great distances, the delay between what we see of the supernova lighting up and the ring lighting up would be very much long, longer delay. And therefore, his idea, that the eight months that he sees, is not eight months when the supernova lights up the ring, but merely 7.5 four hours. And from that moment, the rest of the, his logical analysis completely falls to pieces and is totally destroyed.
you really ought to check his figures and think about the whole system rather than trying to hit creationists with all these so-called pseudo-facts. I hope you found that interesting. Thank you for listening.